I'm Lisa, the artist behind La Cree Fine Art. Today I'm going to walk you through painting a western scrub jay in acrylic and airbrushing. Given how much airbrushing that I did on the background, I chose to use a Frederick's Nature Core paint board. These are awesome. If you've not tried them, you should check them out. They have about the smoothest surface you can get on a canvas, which is great for airbrushing, but also works out really well with oils and acrylics when you're doing a lot of fine detail. They're lightweight and sturdy, and like all Frederick's canvases, they're archival, so you know that your work is going to last. I have new painting and drawing videos once a week, so make sure you subscribe and follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with my newest work. I started by gluing sheet music to the edge of my canvas. Once that is dry, I use masking tape and paper towels to cover the music to protect it from overspray once I start airbrushing. I find it easier when working in both acrylics and airbrushing to paint my entire background. I never draw my subject first and attempt to paint around it. Because acrylic dries so quickly, even when using the airbrush to keep it wet, it's easy to end up with obvious outlines where the background meets the subject. I instead prefer to paint the entire background and use tracing and transfer paper to transfer my image onto the canvas after the background is painted in. Drawing my image onto the tracing paper allows me to erase and make adjustments as needed on the paper without causing pencil smudges all over my actual canvas. Once I have the base of my background airbrushed in, I start loosely airbrushing in my branches. I've chosen to do this with the airbrush because it's the easiest method to get the nice out of focus look that I'm going for. For the bird, I switch to using traditional brushwork using acrylics. I start by blocking in all of the dark areas with Mars Black. Next, I switch to a liner brush and start adding detail around the eyes and beak. If my background was very dark, I would likely choose to paint most of the bird white before starting in with my blues so that they would stand out more. In this case, the background is light enough that the blues will show up just fine, so I don't need to do that. You want to pay attention to your brush strokes when working on the feathered areas. Make sure each stroke follows the direction of the feathers. Once I have my base blue painted in, I can start adding in different shades of blue, creating both texture and depth, still following the direction of the feathers. I'm now adding detail with a liner brush using white paint for highlights on the feathers and details around the face. The white on the neck is painted just like the blues on the rest of the head, paying attention to the direction of the feathers. After adding some shadows, I go back over some of them with white paint with both a rake brush and a liner brush for a bit more detail. Moving on to the body, I start by blocking in the general shadows that will peek out under the white feathers. Painting in the white feathers on the body, I'm working again with both a rake brush and a liner brush, making sure not to fill them in too solid. I want some of those shadows peeking out from underneath them. Now I add a glaze on top of the shaded areas of the bird and under some of the feathers that separate the head from the body. For my glaze, I'm using paint thinned down with quite a bit of water so that my previous details of the feathers still show through. Next, I'm moving on to the tail feathers. I don't use a rake brush at all on these because I want them to be nice and smooth. I stick with a liner brush and either a flat or a filbert brush to fill these in.
To finish up the painting, I need to paint the branch. I start with a base cream color before moving on to the details. Once that base is painted in, I start blocking in the different colors and textures of the branch. I dab most of my brush strokes with my finger to smudge each section a bit, giving it a slightly rougher look. And that completes this acrylic and airbrush painting of a western scrub jay, brought to you by La Cree Fine Art and Frederick's Canvases.